All right, guys, welcome back to Get a Garage today. Got another Jeep video coming for you. Um, so far, one of the things we haven't done with this yet is tow with it. So even though we do have a trailer, we've done no videos on this at all. So today we're going to tow it to the max, put it to the test. Here we go with another reason why Jeep Liberty tire location sucks. I can't even put this on. Yeah, we're going to have to take that off. Yeah. All right. So yeah, as you guys saw, this will not fit on this stupid tire in place. I don't care if you flip it or what you do, there's nothing you can do with this to make it to make it go on. So it's got to come off. All right, now that we got that off, now we can put the hitch on. See, that is one of this Jeep's design flaws right there. But, so it weighs 4,000 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, 4,000 pounds, solid steel, towing it with a four cylinder. Who would have thought? So, yeah, it's not quite as much as we thought it was going to weigh, but um, so far, we got it hooked up. Pinnel hitch. Looks like we got a, a, a dump truck going on here or something. <laughs> so we're gonna head home and see how she does let you guys know all right we got our first real test we got a hill from a stop we got some diesel smoke Champ. She does pretty good, I guess. That was impressive. I just kind of pulled out in front of somebody. <laughs> but I didn't make them slow down. Um, overdrive off is definitely a necessity with something this heavy. So your miles per gallon are going to suck. But this thing is capable of towing quite a bit. I'm impressed. I didn't expect this. Now I see how these guys are towing Jeeps all over the country with another Jeep. They're uh, they're not bad. I and mean, we got a trans cooler on this, so I'm not too worried about that. And it's not overheating. It's not getting warm. She's just chugging right along. You can feel it moving the Jeep around a little bit, though. I mean, it's uh, there's a lot of weight back there for sure. We're about probably, I would say that's probably about 75% of the weight of this thing, so. All right, so another quick little update. Um, just for people that are thinking about towing with their Jeep, if they have one of these CRDs, um, this would not necessarily apply to the 3.7. So if you have a 3.7 liter gasser or the 2.4, this isn't necessarily gonna translate over, but you are gonna have much longer takeoff speeds so, or not speeds, but distances to get up to speed. And you're also gonna have longer braking distances. Um, this one doesn't have a, a trailer brake on it. We do have it equipped in the Jeep right here. Uh, we have a trailer brake, but it is not hooked up to this trailer. It doesn't have one, so we're using the Jeep brakes for all the braking, and you can definitely tell uh, you're pulling something when you go to stop. So give yourself adequate room to stop if you're towing anything with one of these, especially when it's up three, four, five thousand pounds. All right, we got her here. It's no problem. I mean, it did great. Definitely, definitely slow on the braking and slow on the takeoff. Other than that, it didn't really bounce it around too much. You could definitely feel it back there, but handled it like a champ. Absolutely zero issues with it at all. And the reason why we have to do it is right there taking over our telephone wires and telephone and power cables and all that stuff so she's got to go anyway uh that's it she toes she toes like a champ this is not small by any means this thing is huge i mean i'm not a big guy but this is big and heavy but it's pretty cool good to know you can rent stuff like this when you got a jeep
a boom. All right, so we got our tree down mostly, uh, not for the fact that our chainsaw stopped working a bunch of times. The Jeep worked great though. Just a couple of thoughts on towing with this thing. It, it does tow fairly flawlessly. There isn't any major problems with it. Um, this is a pretty heavy load, so the only things that I could suggest are make sure you have overdrive off, number one. Make sure you have your lug nut wrench, so that way you can take your spare tire off, because if you're renting something, you never know what their hitches are gonna look like and how it's all gonna mount up to your vehicle. So on these Jeeps, the towing is like right in the way of the rear tire, so I, I don't really know what happened there, but Jeep failed on that one. Other than that, this thing has been great. I mean, it's got tw plenty of power to pull this. Um, I mean, going 55, and see if it'll uh, shift into a, another gear here. I think I might be in the top gear actually right now. Yeah, so 55, cruises along at about 23, 2400 RPMs, and does good. I can only imagine if this had a, uh, a Yeti tune on it or a green diesel engineering uh, hot tune on it, see how it would perform then. Um, you know, maybe with an upgraded torque converter or a, a, maybe a five speed conversion. So, I don't know. Things to think about. Maybe things to come in the future. We'll see. I don't know. But, uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.